Hello everyone and welcome to this lab session. In this session we will look at how you can install CloudWatch agent on your EC2 instance. So basically CloudWatch agent is used to keep a track of activities that are being performed on your EC2 instance. So mostly it is used on servers. So basically when you launch an EC2 instance for a server based activity, so you can actually track whatever the users are doing, how much the CPU utilization is being done, what are the RAM utilizations for that instance and all such things that can be tracked. So let's get started and see how you can do it for yourself. So inside your AWS account, you need to go to the IAM role. So the first thing is we need to create an IAM role for this. So we'll go to the IAM roles. We will create a role for an EC2 instance. Select the EC2 instance over here. Go to next and over here we will search for the policy that will be for EC2 role for SSM. So this is the one that we need and the other one that we need is the CloudWatch agent server policy. So we will search for CloudWatch and over here you will find that this is the policy that we need CloudWatch agent server policy. Just select this policy and moving on next we will select a role name. So let it be CloudWatch agent role and then create this role. So the role has been created. The next thing we will do is we will go to the EC2 dashboard and create a new EC2 instance. So I will go to the launch instance option and we will launch an Amazon Linux 2 AMI machine. Just select it. We will go with the default T2 micro free tier option. Next onto the configurations and over here for the IAM role we will select our IAM role that is CW agent role which is CloudWatch agent role. And inside the bash script, I will be writing a bash script that will perform yum update. So moving on next, we have add storage option. So we will go with the default storage option. Then we have the add tags option. So you can add some tags over here. So I will add a tag with the name so that we can differentiate between other machines. So this is the CW agent EC2 instance. Next configuration. So by default we have the SSH so that we can actually SSH into this machine and then I will add a new rule over here that will be for the HTTPS and this will be port 443 and all traffic allowed. So this is basically so that the CloudWatch can communicate with the CloudWatch agent and then transfer in and out the data for that logs or the activities that will be performed so that we can keep a track of it. So moving on next we have review and launch. So we are good with everything for now and then moving on next let's launch this instance i will use a new key pair so just create a new key pair and then let's launch this instance so let's wait for this instance to be completely launched and up and running so that we can perform our activities and then we can install our cloudwatch agent so that we can track our activities Alright, so our instance is now up and running, so we can now use it. So these two green ticks actually means we can use it now. So I will just select this instance and then we will go to the actions, connect to this machine, SSH into it with the username ec2-user. Right, so I will just clear out my screen. So the first thing I will do is I will sudo yum install the Amazon CloudWatch agent. So hit enter. So we have successfully installed the CloudWatch agent. The next thing we need to do is we need to move into the folder where it is installed and then we will launch the CloudWatch agent configuration wizard. So I will just clear this screen and this is the location. So inside the OPT folder, AWS, Amazon CloudWatch agent, bin, you will have an Amazon CloudWatch agent configuration wizard. Let's launch this wizard and now it will ask you some questions in order to configure your CloudWatch agent. The first thing it asks is which operating system we are using. So we are using a Linux operating system. So just hit enter. So the default choice is by default Linux. Hit enter. So the next thing is which host are we using. So we are using the EC2 host. So go with the default choice. Then we are planning to run the agent with the root user. So just hit enter. Do you want to turn on stashd daemon? So this is tested daemon is basically responsible to fetch all the activity data and bring into the cloud watch. So yes, we do need to use it. We will use the default port 8125 for test D. 
the collect interval for test D is the default one so we will go with the default one 10 seconds so it will collect the data each 10 seconds of interval then the aggregation interval we will go with the default one which is 60 seconds now it asks you do you want to monitor metrics from collect D so we will go with the no option as we do not have it installed then it asks you do you want to monitor any host metrics yes we do need to monitor the host metrics like the CPU memory and all those things yes we do want to monitor the CPU metric per core as well we want to add EC2 dimensions yes we want to add these dimensions as well the image ID instance ID instance type and all the auto scaling group name as well yes we want to aggregate the EC2 dimensions then it asks you what is the resolution that you want either you want to go with the high resolution like each one second of data or you want to go with the 60 second or 30 or 10 seconds so we will go with the default one so that we do not incur much charges so we will go with the default choice of 60 seconds and then it asks you which default matrix configuration do you want so we will go with the standard one and now over here it shows you like whatever the parameters will be that will be monitored so as you can see over here this is a json format so it shows you what are the metrics it will measure so if you look at the metrics so these are the aggregation dimensions which will be the instance id then it will be collecting the data for the instance type image id instance id and then we have the information related to the instance itself where it collects the data for the cpu where we have the cpu usage the io weight the user usage the system usage and then moving on we have the disk usage as well the disk IO operation, the memory operations, the memory activities that are being performed. Then we have the SD interval that we set, which was 60 seconds for aggregation and 10 seconds for data collection interval. And then we have the swipe measurement as well. So yes, we are satisfied with these settings. So we will go with the default option, yes. So then it asks you if you have any existing CloudWatch log agent. No, we do not have it. Do you want to monitor any log files? Yes, we do want to monitor some log files and that will be the system logs. And as we know that the system logs are inside the var folder. So we will go with the default option one. And over here we will give the location. So this is the location where we have our log files for the systems. Hit enter. And then you need to give a name like what name you want to see when you go to the logs option in CloudWatch. So I will give name as EC2 logs for CW agent instance hit enter and then the log stream name will be the instance ID by default so hit enter log group retention in days so for how much days you want to actually keep the log so we will keep it for one day so I will go with the second option and then it asks you if you want to specify any additional logs so no we do not want any additional logs we will go with the option 2 and finally it asks you if you want to store the configuration in the SSM parameter store so no we do not want to store it and now the program exits so this basically means that we have configured our settings for this wizard of cloudwatch agent so let's just clear this screen and now I will move into the folder where we have it installed so it is actually installed inside the opt aws cloud agent bin folder I will just paste this location over here hit enter so now we are inside this folder and now I will write down ls. So you can see over here that we have this file config.json file. So this basically means that we have our configuration done and this is the reason that you can see the config.json file over here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to now start the CloudWatch agent. So for that you need to write down this command over here. And by the way don't worry about these commands I will be providing to you all of these commands in the resource section so this command over here will basically start the cloudwatch agent so hit enter and now you can see over here that it shows you configuration validation succeeded and our cloudwatch has been started successfully so the next thing we will do is we will generate some activity on our system so for that as of now you can see that it is a new instance so we will install some Amazon Linux extra utility so that we can have some stress load onto this instance. I will install the stress utility and then give some stress onto it. Now it is running and hopefully it will be giving some load onto the PC. So now I will go back to the services and over here we will go to the CloudWatch. 
So if you go into the matrix option and go to the all matrix, so over here you will see that we have this EC2 instance. So let's go to this EC2 instance. And if you go to the per instance matrix, you will find over here that we have this CloudWatch agent EC2 that we just launched. And if I just show you quickly the CPU usage for this. So you can see that it has gone above 5% of utilization. And but this is the namespace matrix that is provided by default by CloudWatch. So if you go to the all option over here and over here you will find that we have the CloudWatch agent option. So this is inside the custom namespaces and this is because we have actually created it and these are the 29 metrics that are being generated by the CloudWatch agent that is running in the EC2 instance. So if you go to this, so you can see that we have the instance ID. Then we have the image ID, instance ID. We have 12 metrics for this one. Then for this namespace, we have four metrics running. And for this one, we have two and same for this one as well. So if I just go into this namespace and you can see that we have the disk used percentage. So if you just click on it, it will show you like what is the disk usage percentage. So as of now, it is not being used. So you won't be able to see any graph over here. So these are all related to the disk usage. If you go back to all, and inside this, so this is all related to the CPU usage. So if you just click on this, so it shows you the usage that is being performed and each of them with a color code. So it basically shows you that what, what is it for. So this is the CPU usage for the user and that is above 60%. And if you go back in the same way, you will find others as well. So this is for the disk IO time. Then you have it for the swap used and then similarly the instance ID. So these are all related to the disk, CPU user system and all those things. So with this, I hope you have got an understanding of how you can install CloudWatch agent on your machine and then you can track some activities as well. Last thing is the logs. So if you remember, we also generated some logs as well. So if you go to the log group and over here you can see that this is the name that we provided ec2 logs for cloudwatch agent instance so if you just go into this so you will find over here that we have this log stream created as we selected the default name for this log stream to be the instance id itself and here you can see that all the system logs that are being generated by the system can be seen visible inside our log section in cloudwatch so it basically shows you all the activities that were being performed with time stamp and everything so finally with this i hope you have got understanding of how you can install cloudwatch on any of your instance in aws and then track your activities of whatever is being performed in your ec2 instance and then how you can also bring in your system logs to your cloudwatch dashboard